first things first what the heck okay honestly i don't even know what to say about this what's up you guys it is your girl melinda j and of course on this channel we take trendy topics we take shows that we love and we take the latest um breaking news and we turn them into powerful lessons that we can all learn from okay um um i have been trying to avoid doing this and um still is right now but i'm gonna go ahead and put my little two cents in it when it comes to this carly russell situation and leave it at that so i'm not even gonna hold y'all any longer first things first what the heck okay miss carly russell she is a 25 year old nursing student and she is i'm assuming living in birmingham alabama um, however, the incident occurred in Hoover, Alabama, which is like the suburbs of Birmingham. But a lot of people um, that lived in Hoover live in like Trustville now. <laughs> but other than that, you know, let's go ahead and break down this thrilling deception of an abduction hoax. Okay, so as of today, right? July 21st, 2023, um, she has been relieved of her duties from the, the spa. She has been fired from the job that she worked at the, um, at the Woodhouse Spa. Um, a statement was given that was by the owner, Stu Stuart Rome, the owner of Woodhouse Spa. And it was given to New York Post and it was as stated as the information came out that were some questionable things. We have been a little P.O. about the encounter, mainly because many people took so much time out to search. Therefore, it had led to them relieving her from her duties. OK. So. The story goes, and I'm pretty sure y'all know already, but y'all, oh my God. Okay. Calm. Okay. So she was abducted after being pulled over um, to help a child walk alongside the hall highway of her home, well, on her way home from work earlier this month. After she reappeared, however, authorities began to cast doubt on the versions of events, saying that they were unable to verify R Russell's story. And I'm reading from my notes, okay? So the timeline goes, days before Russell's disappearance, on Wednesday, the lit, um, police, uh, this past Wednesday, police had came across online searches that Russell had made before days leading up to her disappearance, such as, do you have to pay for an Amber Alert? How to take money from a cash register without getting caught? Birmingham bus station. One-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville with a departure date of July 13th. And, of course, the movie Taken. And then, before her call on um, Thursday the 13th, at 8 20 p.m she left her workplace in birmingham about 10 minutes 10 miles away from hoover at around 8 20 p.m local time the police stated russell ordered some food at the colonnade shopping mall and picked it up and she stopped at target on a highway 280 to buy some granola bars and cheeses and she stayed in the parking lot to 9 21 p.m according to police and that's when she calls 911 around 9.34 that evening, stating that she seen a toddler on the side of the highway. And she stopped to check the bull, uh, to check on the boy. And while she was on the phone with a dispatcher about the toddler, Russell traveled um, in her car about 600 yards, the distance of about 600 football, uh, not, six, not 600, ooh, six football fields. 
Okay. Uh, and then they disappear. And then that's when Russell disappears that following evening about, what is that? Like about two, within two minutes. Okay. Within two minutes after her doing that encounter with the, uh, with the taller, after the 911 call lasts for two minutes, that's when uh, Russell called a family member. And then that's when she met, went missing during the conversation. Sometime around that time, um, police had wrote on a Facebook post. Now, during the 49 hours in which Russell was missing, after returning home, she had gave investigators her account of what happened that evening of July 13th. And she said the man came out of the woods and mumbled that he was checking on the child. And that's when he forced her over a fence and into a car. And then next thing she remembers uh, being in the trailer of a truck with the man and who had one chair and was accompanied by the woman. And then she could hear a baby crying. Then she uh, told the police that she escaped, but was recaptured and put into a car, blindfolded, and then was taken to a, and she was taken to a house and where she was undressed. Then the next day, the woman fed her cheese crackers and played with her hair. Okay, <laughs> and then at some point, she was put back into a vehicle. She claimed she was able to escape while she was in West Hoover area and ran to the went through the woods to get home and then of course that's when the search was underway with um police releasing a photo to russell and um of course it went around social media and warp speed which uh the police offered a total of five, uh, fifty thousand uh, dollars for her safe return which included twenty thousand from an anonymous source five thousand raised by crime stoppers of Metro Alabama and then 25000 from a real estate company, Keller Williams, according to CBS Birmingham affiliate, W, um, is that I A T and maybe W, uh, yeah, I think it's W I. Um, and then that's when Russell was found two days later. No, yeah, two days later at 10 45 p.m so two days later that's july 15th obviously and then uh she returned home by foot after 49 hours that she went missing and that's when she that's when police received a call around 10 45 p.m notifying them of her returning and then that and therefore she went to the hospital to get re-examined uh, um and then of course the investigation is still ongoing as of Yesterday, the press conference had unveiled what had transpired, which was the information I gave y'all, right? And then on top of that, you know, as I stated before in the video, that as of today, July 21st, she has been um, terminated from her job at the Woodhouse Spa due to the not only the ongoing investigation but of course that breaks the trust of from employer to employee about taking items from the facility and using it for your own personal gain without permission on top of that the uh nationwide uh widespread of your disappearance and then your reappearance and then the story that was provided is not matching to what police are putting together um so to say the least uh my two cents on this encounter is um for one thing i did pray for her I did pray for her return and I did recall retweeting the tweet of her being of disappearing because whenever black women or, or black people in general, but specifically black women do go missing, um, we do not get the widespread recognition like in this capacity to get found in 
in this capacity and have a safe return to our loved ones that has been going through and uh well that has been you know doing their due diligence to try to get the person who is missing return home safely after she had been found and then there was uh all these speculations and stuff going around that's when i threw in my towel <laughs> that's when i threw in my towel away the white flag because i was like well at least she is okay she is fine she returned well she was returned home safely or she got home safely but then uh, once I did my little run back of the accounts, I was like, okay, so um, the, I didn't hear no baby in the background. Um, she has a bright red car. Um, nobody else had called in about seeing the baby on the highway. And from my recounts on what my mom was talking about, because... <laughs> We used to go through Birmingham all the time to travel um, back in the day. But with that specific highway, speedway. <laughs> it's like a speedway because it's, it's basically a shortcut from the main highway that gets you to Port Atlanta, right? So, yeah, um... Um, all I can say is I am speechless <laughs> and I am happy for her safe return. But um, uh, uh, when there's a cause, there is effect. When there is a decision that, that is made, it can determine your destiny. And if there is a um, situation that st started on faulty grounds, there will be consequences along the way. So far, she's already getting the public opinion hammered down to the 10th power um and then also she just been relieved from her job as well as her boyfriend has basically broken off with her and then on top of that now we gotta see if she's going to face charges because she basically created a false report and depending on what uh, and knowing Alabama now, Alabama is a Republican state. So, yeah. So either she can get on trial for that, or she could plead insanity and and go to a rehabilitation center for that matter. But other than that, y'all, honestly, I don't even know what to say about this. All I can say about this situation is don't let this particular situation that has unfolded before our eyes in real time, don't let this particular situation stop us from really trying to um, seek help or at least give people the benefit of the doubt as well as for anybody who else, uh, anybody else who is going missing um that truly needs the help and assistance to find their loved one don't let this situation deter you uh, or steer you from helping somebody else okay just at the end of the day we all are just gonna have to use our discernment at this point and of course reserve our judgment until everything unfolds before our eyes okay because just as much as it came before our eyes and we was quick go going into action making sure she gets home safely in time it came back tenfold with the real details coming out about the situation so that is why i held out as long as i could on talking about it even though i was trying to get away from the topic but when the authorities are involved and they produce the facts and they do their own little investigation and stuff like that. That's when I'll resurface. That's when I'll come back from the clouds and give my opinion on that. But other than that, 
like I said, the lesson that we can all learn from this situation is, of course, don't let this situation deter you from actually actually helping somebody, okay, into finding someone who has uh, actually been missing for a long period of time. Use your discernment. If you don't feel like um, supporting, that is, then you just don't feel like supporting, okay? That, that when nobody is holding up, you know what, to your head to make the decision. We all got free will to do that. So use your discernment. Uh, of course, go through all the facts um, and, and come to your own judgment about this because everybody has their own opinion one way or another, okay? And then, of course, whenever everything unfolds, then we can go ahead and make our final decision and make peace with it. Because a lot of people was like, I want my prayer back. <laughs> I was like, you want your prayer back? Oh, they don't work like that. Uh, other people were talking about, um, I, I know um law enforcement they wasted you know manpower energy and stuff like that but this is just, i say this is like a test run on what could happen or what needs to happen within law enforcement as well or with just anybody in general in general that goes missing that just look how fast the uh we had got on the band uh, on the ball game to make sure she returns home if we can do that for everybody that is encountering for this situation, we will probably get some done in this mamma jamma. But that's enough of my rambling. And I wanna know that I wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section below. I really do. I really do wanna hear your thoughts. Let me know down. Let me know down below. Okay. I love to hear your thoughts. If y'all wanna send me any other information that y'all want me to talk about. Uh, send it to my email, melindaj at gmail.com. I hope this video found, uh, this video is valuable and you learned something about this today. I hope we all learned about something about this today uh, that has encountered within this month. And of course, um, please stay tuned for some more exciting content along the way. I am doing what I can to upload <laughs> and for, and and bring you all some content that y'all can actually consume and uh whether it's good bad ugly or indifferent but of course you know i'm undergoing some things in the background yeah that, that's all i got <laughs> until next time i'll see you guys in the next one